to demonstrate the interconversion of potential and kinetic energy. Materials required A wheel rigidly fixed to a long axle. The wheel should be at the center of the axle. Two threads of equal length. Stand with a rod horizontally fixed to it. Procedure Take a wheel that is rigidly fixed to a long axle. Note that the wheel should be at the center of the axle. Take two threads and tie them on each side of the axle which is connected to the wheel. Note that the threads should be quite flexible, inextensible and identical to each other. Tie the other end of the threads to the rod at an equal distance from the center. Ensure that the separation between the lower ends of the two threads is slightly greater than the distance between them at the supporting top. Rotate and move up the wheel until the threads wind up on the axle. Release the wheel from the top position. What do you observe? Observation When we release the axle, it descends and starts coiling around in the opposite direction. As the process repeats, each time the wheel winds up and down, the height of the wheel that tends to coil up decreases. Conclusion As the wheel moves up, it gains some potential energy. When the wheel moves down, Potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. When the wheel reaches the lowest position, all its energy is kinetic. For that reason, the threads start to wind up in the opposite direction.